In this video, we'll be looking at the greenhouse effect. When sunlight is radiated from Earth, it interacts with Earth's surface. We already discussed that 60% of sunlight actually reaches Earth's surface. Of that 60%, some of it is absorbed. When it's absorbed, it's re-radiated back up to heat the atmosphere and heat the air above the surface. So in this process of delivering energy to the Earth's surface, the sunlight, the insulation, is coming to the Earth as visible light. There's also some UV light in there too. The ozone layer doesn't block it all out. Um, what's interesting is that the heat that's being radiated, the red arrows in this picture, are actually infrared. So we have radiated visible light and then radiated infrared light. And if you remember from the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, visible light is more in the center of the table while infrared is further to the right on the table, which is a longer wavelength. The reason I bring this up is because this is called an energy transformation because you have energy coming in at a shorter wavelength but then being transformed into a longer wavelength comes up from time to time, but that's a natural process that's happening on Earth's surface. Now, another thing that can happen to insulation that reaches the Earth's surface is reflection. There are some surfaces on Earth, like clouds, um, which you know are very close to the ground, or even ice and water, um, where very little absorption takes place, and instead, the light energy, the insulation, will just really bounce back into space. So that's something that can happen to that 60% or some of the 60% that reaches Earth's surface. The heat that's being given off by the ground, we call that terrestrial radiation. Well, that terrestrial radiation winds up getting trapped by the atmosphere, and specifically gases in the atmosphere that we call greenhouse gases. So we'll really be focusing on where those greenhouse gases come from and what effect this has on the Earth's temperature. So just to review, the greenhouse effect, what we're talking about here, involves an energy transformation where shortwave EMS energy in the form of UV light and visible light come in, but long wave radiation, which is infrared or heat, come out or are radiated by the Earth's surface. And the greenhouse effect specifically is when terrestrial radiation gets trapped in the atmosphere by greenhouse gases. So let's take a look at how this actually works in a greenhouse. So if you've never seen a greenhouse, a greenhouse is made of glass. And the greenhouse allows uh, insulation, sunlight to come through. And that uh, comes through the glass and warms up the surfaces, the darker surfaces. Those radiate infrared heat. But the glass doesn't allow the heat to leave. The heat's trapped. So it keeps the greenhouse year-round very warm. Now when we compare that to the Earth and the Earth's atmosphere, the very same thing is happening. Sunlight warms up the surface of the Earth, but that heat is radiated from the Earth's surface winds up getting trapped. Now it's trapped by the atmosphere and gases in the atmosphere. And those gases that do the trapping we call greenhouse gases. Those greenhouse gases specifically include carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, nitrous oxide, and then there are some others. What's important to remember, believe it or not, the greenhouse effect is actually an important part of why Earth is a great place to live. These gases reduce the loss of heat to outer space, which keeps Earth at an average temperature of about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Without greenhouse gases, the Earth's average temperature would be closer to about zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we'd be on a very different planet without this mechanism. But here's the problem. As greenhouse gases increase in our atmosphere, more heat gets trapped than necessary. 